So we just heard from Peter on that massive cybersecurity attack and Catherine Herridge on the fears of the Taliban Five returning to terror. But despite real threats like these, some mainstream media outlets are focusing on headlines like this one. Marco Rubio and his wife cited 17 times for traffic infractions. A New York Times story which dedicated the paper's resources to spotlight a candidate's speeding record? Katie Pavlich is the editor of townhall.com, Fox News contributor. So Katie, let's start with the kinds of stories some in the mainstream media are focusing on. I just talked to Peter and Catherine about, you know, mm -hmm. huge major domestic and international issues happening across the world and we're talking about traffic violations? Right, that's the thing and we didn't even mention, you know, the confidential taxpayer information that was hacked from the IRS just two weeks ago, right? I mean, that's a, another huge issue. But here we are now with the New York Times focused on Marco Rubio and his wife's speeding tickets over the course of 17 years. Now, Marco Rubio received four of those speeding tickets out of the 17, which means about one speeding ticket every four years. Uh, I'd say that's a pretty good record. And by the way, maybe, you know, the men can be happy and victorious that this proves that women are actually worse drivers than men because most of the tickets were actually Marco Rubio's wife's, but it goes to the point of <laughs> this is absolutely absurd. There are other issues to focus on. And by the way, the Free Beacon is reporting that this information, of course, came from a far left liberal think tank group, opposition research group, American Bridge, which fed this information directly to the New York Times. And I say, if you got to go for the speeding tickets, we've officially jumped the sharks on, on, on the shark in terms of what we're going to get outraged about when it comes to choosing the next president of the United States. Yeah, I mean, it's so aptly put because a lot of people think that this is phony outrage when we have ISIS burning people alive and beheading mm -hmm. them. But, you know, we all remember what happened to Mitt Romney, too, when there was that right. story about his dog on top of the roof of the car, and that, yeah. you know, w was headlines for weeks on end. So, so I guess my question, the next part is, besides the content of the stories, why does it seem that it's only about Republicans? Right. I mean, there's this huge double standard. First of all, Hillary Clinton hasn't even driven a car herself since the 1990s, according to Hillary Clinton. So despite the fact that Marco Rubio might have four speeding tickets over the, pro the course of the last two decades, let's see, America, which one do you want, right? And second of all, they're, they're playing dirty. The left plays dirty. They go for these low-hanging fruit outrage topics. And then the journalists who claim to be neutral play right along with it. And that's the issue here. We're going to see even more of this moving forward. Forward. And it's not just going to be Marco Rubio who's, a, Rubio, who's a target. We're going to see the left and the media uh, going after all the GOP candidates while letting Hillary Clinton get a free pass. Also on the speeding thing, let's not forget, it was just a couple months ago that Hillary Clinton's, you know, Scooby van was clocked at 92 miles an hour in a 65 mile per hour zone <laughs> going to the Boston airport. I mean, that is a danger, right? Let's not focus on Marco Rubio's minor traffic tickets over the course of 20 years. Okay, it's just absurd ah. and ridiculous. The American people deserve better, quite frankly. Well, that, that is a great point to bring up. I had forgotten about that one. So uh, yeah. fair and balanced. Uh, they both had yes. traffic infractions. Wow. What a headline. <laughs> All yeah, right, exactly. uh, Katie Pavlich, have a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Gretchen.